Hi, my tens of viewers. The Nerd Chicken Charlie here, and welcome to our Project for Awesome video. Today, we want to talk to you about a local nonprofit called Gabriel's Angels. This group is dedicated to bringing healing pet therapy to abused, neglected, and at-risk children. And the group it's a, what? I'm sorry, what? No, no, pet therapy has nothing to do with, with psychiatrists or pets. Why did they get started? Well, okay, Charlie, whoa, whoa, slow down. It's a lot of questions. I have an idea. Why don't we go downtown and we'll talk to K Pam Gaber, who's the executive director. What do you think of that? Okay, let's jump on the nerd scooter and head down to Gabriel's Angels. So here we are at Gabriel's Angels. We're going to go in and talk to Pam Gaber. She's the uh, executive director. Come on in. Pet therapy is a term where animals are interacting with human beings, teaching maybe unconditional love or visiting someone in a nursing home. It's that special bond between human beings and animals. I know your group specializes in working with children. Why is that? Children that are victims of abuse and neglect tend to repeat the very cycle of violence they were victims of. And really, what Gabriel's Angels does is, is give these kids a shift, another way to look at life, another way to not respond with violence and respond with compassion and empathy. So how did you ever come up with the idea for this? Well, I adopted the most adorable Weimaraner puppy about 10 years ago, Allie, and I brought him to the crisis nursery here in Phoenix when he was a year old. I dressed him as Rudolph because I thought he would make the children laugh and smile. And do you know, that day those children who were victims of violence were so loving and kind, and Gabriel reached them really like no adult could. And I left that day knowing that something special had happened, and so was the birth of Gabriel's Angels. And since its official founding in 2000, Gabriel's Angels has continued to exceed even their own expectations. Gabriel ignited a revolution of therapy dogs healing children in crisis. I mean, that wasn't happening here in the Valley. I really couldn't be more proud of how he spurred people on that would probably never have volunteered in child abuse and neglect, but they can do it with their animal. And I think it's brought a cadre of people in that have never volunteered in that capacity. If a group like this can help create a society where violence, abuse, and anger ends with our children, then in my opinion, we found a great way to reduce world suck. I see these little faces that we work with and someday they're going to be adults. They're going to be bankers and business people and videographers or perhaps run a charity. And unless we give them every chance to exit the cycle of violence, it's just a disservice if, if, if organizations like Gabriel's Angels can't continue. The therapy dogs soften the shell these children have built around them and when there's love there's hope and when there's hope anything is possible. Later this year, Charlie's hoping to be accepted as one of the therapy dogs. But right now, she's still a little too crazy, right? <laughs> Charlie can do it. I know she can. All we know is that Arizona is better off for a group called Gabriel's Angels. Right? <laughs>